Hey, this is Captain Chris with another quick jailbreak video. We will call this Jailbreaking for Beginners. One of the main reasons that people jailbreak their iOS devices is to get Cydia. First off, it is normal for Cydia to take a while to load up, especially the first time you open it. Cydia is an application that houses many third-party applications, themes, and system extensions available for iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. As you can see straight away on the home screen, that Cydia has a lot going on. On iPad, Cydia has on the home screen extensions useful for the iPad and products that are designed specifically for iPad. It also has a section for featured apps and themes. You should also check out the frequently asked questions section. Across the bottom you will see the Cydia tab, which is the home screen the Sections tab, Changes, Installed, the Sources tab, and the Search tab. I will briefly go over each of them individually. Let's start with the Sections tab. The Sections tab contains all of the tweaks on the Cydia market separated by category. Take the Theme sections for example. There are several Themes folders. One folder contains system themes for use with Winterboard, another that themes your carrier, inf carrier information, and themes for popular theming platform called Dreamboard. You can also find things such as system tweaks and widgets, which are not otherwise available on iOS devices. The Changes tab displays apps that have recently undergone changes or have been updated by date. A city app that needs to be updated will appear at the top of this section. Unfortunately, all of my apps are up to date at this time. To update the app, you simply touch on the link, click Modify, and then you will click Update. The next tab is the Installed tab. True to its name, this tab is a list of all tweaks, apps, and themes, also known as packages, that you have installed on your iOS device. If you want to remove a package, you simply come to the Installed tab, select the package you want to remove, click Modify, and then click Remove. It is normal for a package to take a minute or two to be uninstalled. It is also normal for the Installed tab to contain several packages already installed even though you haven't installed them. These are important system files and should not be removed. In the iPhone version of Cydia, to get to the Installed section, you will click on the Manage tab and then select Packages. You will also get to the Sources section via the Manage tab. The apps found on Cydia are not all contained on a central server or location. The developers of these apps upload them to several different online repositories. These sources or repos can be accessed by Cydia. Cydia comes preloaded with several sources that contain hundreds of free and paid packages. But even so, you may need to add a new source. To do so, you just simply tap the edit button in the top right corner add in the top left corner. Note that it is very important to type in the source exactly how it is found. Then click the add source button. The repository will then be accessible through Cydia. The last tab is the Search tab. The Search tab allows you to access Cydia packages by their names. Simply type in the first few letters of a package and the page will begin to auto-populate. This in a nutshell is Cydia.
Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and drop me a comment. If this video was helpful, please give me a thumbs up. This has been Captain Chris with another quick jailbreak tweak, signing out. Music